Hey guys, the Cube did here. Today I have an unboxing from the Cubicle.us. All right, so in this package, this is actually the Moyu Dion Mod, which is the new Moyu 3x3. I actually ordered this from Light Take, as you guys probably know, because I've been sort of complaining about it. Uh, so after Light Take, just didn't really send it for like a month. I was like, you know what? I've had enough. So ordering it, uh, ordering it from the Cubicle.us. And here it is before Light Take. So very fast shipping, as always. The Cubicle Moyu Dion Mod. And it came with the cubicle card and these stickers, not sure what shades, I guess we can quickly go through those since it's just one puzzle. It won't be that long of a video. Uh, I guess just regular colors. They look pretty nice. In my opinion, the green's pretty dark. But anyways, let's get into the puzzle. I've heard mixed things about this. I've heard it's slow, I've heard it's fast, so I'm really not sure uh, what, should I, what I should expect. And I hate Moyu boxes. Moyu, if somebody from the Moyu company is watching, please change your boxes. Nobody, nobody likes them at all. Nobody likes boxes with these flaps on both sides. It's really annoying and you rip it. Alright, so, uh, these stickers, they look a little weird. These are kind of long. They got the circular stickers. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the GANS 3, the 57mm GANS 3 which is right here. However, on the corners on that, they're actually squarish. Here, they're rounded off. But you got the same center sticker and same edge, pretty much. But let's uh, do first turns. Okay, so the first noticeable thing is the edges. Very hollow. Pretty cool. You can actually see how they fit together right there. I understand why some people are saying it's slow. It is a little dry. Definitely not as fast as the other Moyu puzzles, but I think it has the potential to be. These edges are very small compared to these corners. Let me take a look at like a, a Zanchi piece. So yeah, these are all proportional. I'm pretty sure this is not proportional. Let's take a look at the pieces. I'm really interested in that. I'm just going to line them up on top of each other. Yeah, these are not proportional. These edges are definitely a lot smaller. In the corners, that uh, looks like it's a little bit dirty right there. But here are the edges. They come apart like that, and they have torpedoes that can be removed. And then you slide that back in. And then you go on with your life. You put that there. Come on, go in. There you go. Okay, so very hollow these edges I don't really know what to think about this puzzle it's not great or it's not like super amazing like a way long but it's not that bad corner cutting wow corner cutting is pretty good oh my god this is some of the best corner cutting I've ever seen reverse who reverse does not beat the GANS 3 57 millimeter this can do about half or three fourths of a QB. Not line to line though. But re uh, regular corner cutting can go a, little, like a lot more over 45 than other puzzles. And that's with ease. I guess that's with a little bit of force, but that's just with ease. Uh, so I guess after lubing it and tensioning it, it'll be nice, but I will be doing a review of this soon because I'm going to start doing some more reviews. But in the meantime, here is this quick unboxing. Alright, so I thought I'd just do a quick solve for you guys before I go into the usual outro stuff. I am averaging 18 to 19 seconds, which I'm very happy with. And my main is currently the GANS 357mm. Because that puzzle is awesome. But this is... I'm not used to this color scheme, but... The edges are kind of falling apart right here. I've been noticing that throughout the whole entire review. Or unboxing. It w that was. Oh my god, I can't do this now. This is my first solve of the day. Alright, so it performs well, no lockups, no pops, except for those edges were kind of coming apart. And here are the Moyu shades and checkerboard. I kind of like it. I think I ordered a black one. No, I have a. Yeah, black one for my take, I think. So I guess I will review both of those. If I end up getting the light take package eventually, hopefully in the future. 
All right, so I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing from thecubicle.us. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and read the description for the Letter War winners. This video's letters are EMP. Read the description if you're confused about what these letters are for. Discounts and coupons can be found in the description as well. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.